It's been about a year, I think, since we've been working on this channel and we thought we'd look back and reflect on how we've done and what we've changed and where we're at now. Uh, we figured we'd share what we've learned over this past year in, in shooting these videos. Mm -hmm. Because when we started, we had no idea what we were doing. and We only slightly know a little bit more. Yeah, we so. started out filming here which is our dining room. Yeah, so this is our first setup. It was a, it's a, the dining room setup. Mm -hmm. uh, we started doing playthroughs. We were disembodied, however, so it was my hands and his voice. Yeah, on our playthroughs. It, mm -hmm. it, it was just the game. And, and it was with these lights, these lights here. Uh, we've since up, we've upgraded everything about this setup, I suppose, except for the cameras. The cameras are the same cameras that we that we use mm -hmm. downstairs in our studio, our studio. It's our basement. And we, we actually started with the audio on the cameras themselves, mm -hmm. which I, I could switch to. So, so this would be audio from the camera, and now now this is the audio from the Rode Video Mic, uh, Rode Video Mic Pro that's above me. When I was trying to decide which way we were going to move on audio, I also tried this Zoom. Uh, H1N, which is sitting in front of us uh, right now. I don't typically like having a microphone uh, mm -hmm. in the scene. We, we actually use the H4N, I think, uh, downstairs, but uh, that'll be later in the video. So our lighting setup right now, one of the problems with this lighting setup is the temperature. So this oh, yeah. is, these are really uh, really cool. <laughs> they're, really, they're really cool as far as the temperature and all the rest of the lights around us are um, warmer. Are warmer lights, which is why the background is so uh, yellow right now. It doesn't look yellow right now, but mm. once I once I uh, white balances, that's gonna make the background look really yellow. Uh, now our walls are actually a cream color, so uh, yeah, they, they should so be a little accurate. yellow. But that but this this is actually white. Um, it's not gonna look white. So. Uh, but yeah, so we upgraded our lighting setup and we, we actually use panel lighting rather than these large soft boxes. Um, I still use these soft boxes for uh, our daughter's channel. They, they, they seem to work out pretty well. Um, and we, we actually use this lighting setup for them where um, we're just, it's even, it's even lighting. You know, there's no dramatic from above. It's because they're kids and they're adorable, so they don't need any help. Right, they don't need any help in the, light, the lighting department. Whereas here, it's, it's just really flat lighting because we have it evenly coming from the sides. It is a little bit higher than our arms because otherwise our arms would be really bright. So uh, we have it at, at face level so that you know, our arms aren't lit up so much. You don't want them too far away. You want them pretty close to you. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, the size of your soft box is the distance it should be from your face. That's just lighting 101. I don't know uh, anything technical. The, the only thing I wanted to talk about, um, since we were talking about sound a little bit ago, this table, we, we started playing on this table because it's a really pretty table, but it's wood, and so it makes a lot of noise. Yeah, especially when you're um, tapping, thinking about your turn, rolling dice, it's really loud. Uh, Even just picking up cards, it's really obnoxious. Yeah. If you watch our early videos, you can hear every little thing. So and we've upgraded that. We, we play on a mat now. Um, it, it also um, reduces some of the glare, but even when you're playing with a non-reflective surface underneath, your cards are still going to be reflective. The board itself is going to be reflective because most of them are printed in a, in a glossy, mm -hmm. uh, glossy print. That is something we had trouble with initially when we were trying to show cards was the glare or even just plain. Like if the lighting was a certain way, like you couldn't see parts of the board depending on where you were sitting and so that was an issue. So I think our current lighting setup works a lot better for that. I don't think we have any blind spots now. Yeah, if, if you're having trouble with your lighting, uh, one of the biggest things is uh, to understand that your your angle of incidence is going to be equal to your angle of reflection. Physics. Physics. So, that it, so if this is coming down here, it's bouncing straight up, which is why my glare is here and here when it comes to the camera uh, up above. Um, so you can change that by moving those uh, lights back, but then, you know, then we're not lit yeah, very well. Yeah, then we're dark. Downstairs is a little bit better than, than what we do. We don't really mm -hmm. film up here anymore. 
so this is how we used to do our overhead setups. Uh, I still kind of like it because I, li I like our table. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very pretty. You know, it, it makes for a very good uh, dramatic backdrop. But one thing that we did do is we upgraded our overhead cam to a 4K camera because that allows you to zoom in on just certain parts of whatever's going on. Plus it allows you to, uh, for example, this setup here, I can just rotate it so that I can look at just my hand or, or just my play area or just Wendy's play area. Uh, I actually didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so normally, you know, we would be sitting across from each other in this setup. Yeah, so 4K uh, from above. If you're gonna shoot 4K in any one of your, your shots, uh, the above shot uh, or the overhead shot, uh, that's where you want your first 4K camera. Oh, and how do we get our overhead shot? Well, up here we have this tripod, and as you can see on this camera over here, we have this tripod here uh, sitting on the dining room table, which Wendy has never complained about. The one thing I did complain about though is because it, he's got it sort of, you know, sitting over the tripod and one day he was adjusting it. We have this really pretty chandelier there and it's very, very close to the chandelier mm. and he almost hit it and that did not make me happy. So now he puts sandbags on it so that that doesn't happen. Well, no, I put sandbags on it because of the way I have the tripod angled because one of the problems with doing an overhead uh, with a tripod is the tripod arm is kind of short. So if you have your legs extended all the way, the legs themselves are going to be in your shot. So you have to uh, lean it. So uh, the back leg needs to be longer than the front two legs and it leans. Don't, don't ever go, don't even go straight up and don't go past 90. You want, want it to still be a little bit back because that camera is going to be heavy. If that comes crashing down, I mean, it's going to mess up your game. It's going to mess up your lens. Um, yeah. Your chandelier. All right, well, let's go downstairs and finish this up. So we've moved to the basement. Oh, hey, Austin. Oh, hey. <laughs> How are you? So, so this is part of the uh, what was new when we came down here is we found Austin living down here. Yeah. No. I did. I lived no. down here for years. They just didn't know it. That's not true. I blacked out all their cameras. Yeah. Austin's, our, <laughs> Austin's our friend from uh, Game Night that we go to. It used to be at Poor Brothers, but now it's at W.E. Sullivan's, Sullivan's, which is an Irish pub. Yeah, so some of the things that are different down here is we have uh, panel lighting. Mostly I changed that because I wanted to get them off the ground and suspending soft boxes from the ceiling. Just... It was not my cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah, they, we have a lovely yeah. drop ceiling down here, which has the added uh, advantage that you can clip things to it. They're actually called suspended ceilings. Whatever. But, uh, uh, but we use the uh, ISO. Uh, ISO makes these little things, clips. clips that that you can just attach all sorts of camera equipment or audio gear to it. Uh, another thing that we switched over to were these Rode NT5. I never considered switching over to lapel mics down here because uh, I think these work just fine. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, one thing you might notice is that all of these microphones are pointed at Austin. Oh yeah, he's correct. the quiet one. He's right? the quiet one. So, so we try to pick up as much. <laughs> Even though he yeah. looks like he should be loud, he's yeah. not. Yeah. Once I start drinking, I get loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. We don't do that on this channel. Correct. <laughs> we we pregame that on this channel. So. I actually have both audios uh, going here. So I have the NT5 running into a, a Zoom H4n that I control from behind me, and then I have the H1n on here. And I'll switch back and forth between these audios just so you can see the difference, if there is any. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious myself yeah. uh, if, if there's any, because relative distance, they're, they're right, about the yeah. same distance from me. Yeah, so, and, and then here's our, our overhead setup. Again, with the it's the same 4K camera that I had going on upstairs. Mm -hmm. But as far as glare, you know, again, the angle of instance equals the angle of reflection, and there's probably a glare on here right now, but you can get a polarized lens filter mm -hmm. for, for your camera. And we actually have a set now before it was just our dining room. So, I mean, this is, those shelves were, are there for actual storage, but it acts as a cool little backdrop to our channel, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I didn't make these shelves specifically for the channel. It was just to store our massive amounts of games. It's kind of like the longest wall we have in our house, and I said, put our games there. Yeah, the the Calyx, we, we do have an Ikea Calyx, like we're everybody else. Yeah, we're actually getting, I'm, I'm getting rid of that, and 
putting custom shelves in there. But but for right now, we look like everybody else sitting in front of an IKEA Calyx. Uh, one of the things that you can probably see down here is part of the our daughter's set. So there, these are Legos down here. But yeah, they they shoot their videos right right down there. So that's what that lighting was for was for their for their channel. I just kind of extended it over when we started shooting the channel. So it was. If there's any games you guys see on our backdrop you want us to play, let us know. Yeah, that's actually came up once or twice before. Uh, in, How in come the we haven't done that? So, well, Blood Rage was mentioned, Scythe was mentioned, but yeah. Oh, well, we should do that. Yes. We should honor some requests. Moving forward into this year, uh, what are our plans? Well, we're hoping to get Dan to commit so we can do bigger four player games. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get a, a fourth. A regular fourth in here because uh, you know we talk a lot st of strategies on this channel and I think that's what, kind of what we've gravitated towards is strategy, strategy. discussions yeah. rather than reviews and we do throw a little bit of review in there but it's it's mostly we're talking strategy. A lot of strategies rely on four players you know they just kind of fall apart at lower player counts. Suburbia yeah. is one of them. Like mm -hmm. it barely held together on, on three, three player. players but at four players it's it's solid. You know, it's just, what else we got coming? I guess we're going to figure out a better way to film at Gen Con. I mean, so that is why we have that fancy little Osmo pocket. Mm -hmm. um, which is something that we got specifically for Gen Con, which I think really works for that purpose because it's nice and small and slight weight. Our daughters can use it for their channel. If... And then you give it to Wendy and she messes everything up. That's true. Uh, but yeah, so the cameras that we use here, uh, we're using all Canon DSLRs except for the one that's up there, which is the, the wide shot, and that is a DJI Osmo Pocket. And it does shoot in 4K. I don't know if I'm shooting in 4K right now. But the overhead camera that we're using is a Sony. And for a while, it was the only 4K camera that we have until we have this, the Canon 90D, which is actually Austin's, and he brings that over whenever we shoot. Yep. But that allows you to crop in, you know, when you're, uh, it's like you have multiple angles, so it helps when you're editing your audio to make cuts and jumps, and because I, I just upload in 1080p, so that way with a 4K shot, you know, I have four different quadrants, quadrants. that I can zoom in, and, and it doesn't look zoomed, it just looks like a, an extra camera angle. Hmm. And you know, neat little pans, and... Fancy, uh, huh? But anyway, uh, thanks for sticking around for our first year. And we'll we'll see where we end up this year. So. Yeah, do we have I a mean, goal on subscribers that we we hope to reach in this year? No, no. more, <laughs> more, no. more. Yeah, more. Yeah. more. So, more. if you have any tips for us, if you see something that we're maybe can improve on, or if you've got some requests, we talked about people uh, asking about games that are behind us. You would like for us to play? You have to be more insistent because John doesn't tell us about that. So, <laughs> so if you have any requests or any tips for us, let us know. 